The new Mizuno JPX 923 hot metal irons are here, and today we're testing them against some of the most popular game improvement irons out in 2022. And Thomas could hit some shots at a moderate swing speed to give you the best possible test. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined on the driving range today by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Thomas, a fun one today. New Mizuno JPX 923 hot metal irons. Irons from Mizuno are always a big deal. Uh, the hot metal irons in particular have been awesome for kind of that mid into high handicap uh, range of golfers last couple of years. 923 uh, series looks no different. Today we've got the popular other game improvement irons, especially the lower lofted ones. Uh, so TaylorMade Stealth is in my hand. You've also got two more, the Rogue ST Max and the T300 from Titleist. So both of the, all three of those have been really popular in fitting bays at second swing this year. Now we add 923 hot metal to it, but how does it compare to these three, you think? Yeah, and these have been the popular irons that they go fairly far yeah. to help golfers that maybe don't swing maybe as fast yeah. to get in more of a, a ideal seven iron window. Mm -hmm. uh, we know the lofts on these are a little stronger, yeah. so it's going to be dependent on, what the play, on the play, how the player swings the golf club. Um, but it'd be interesting to test this, and I'm not going to swing at my normal swing speed today. Yeah. That's what the most important thing is here. We're gonna, I'm going to swing. We've kind of watched the, the, the comments here, and people like to see reviews of irons that fit into that average club speed. So I'm yep. going to try and swing around about 75, 80 miles an hour club speed for a seven iron. And we're just going to see how they compare with regards to numbers. Um, I think it'll be an interesting test. They all do range in about half a degree increments. Yep. So the strongest lofted iron is the Rogue ST Max at 27 and a half degrees for a seven iron. Then we've got the Stealth at 28. Then we've got the Mizuno Pro JPX 923 at 28 and a half, and then we've got the Titus T300 at 29. Mm -hmm. So there should be some some little differences in spin and carry distance, but I'm really interested to see like the, the peak height and the trajectory, because that is important. We need stopping power with these irons. Yep. Even if they're going further, we need to make sure they do fit in an ideal window. Right, and I, we have seen before an iron test where the loft hasn't always dictated which is the lowest launching or the farthest uh, iron. So uh, we'll see if that bears true today. We've got four irons. We're going to hit some shots on TrackMan and then we'll uh, break down the data. You ready to do this, Thomas? Let's do it. No one turned over. Hit the Iowa sign. And it bounced left. Of course it did. <laughs> That's a good ball. That one's hit really good. One five zero on that smash. Holy smokes, that went far. One five zero. It felt good. <laughs> that went so much further than the other ones. Wow. Oh, that felt good. Looks good. That's nice and right high. on the target. With a nice draw. and high. That's the most draw I think I've seen too. Yeah, that's a good golf. That was. I think that's your best golf shot of the day. Another really good ball. Wow. She just put these in the bag. Those are, dispersion is really good. Those last two clubs is really good. All right, so Thomas, uh, first of all, we should clarify, same shaft and yep. golf ball for all these shots, right? 
Yep, so Project X 5.5 uh, for this okay. test. So all the exact same golf shaft, exact same premium golf ball here. So all the numbers should be pretty yeah. pretty consistent. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, as we noted at the beginning a couple times, Thomas did not swing his normal, you know, almost 90 miles an hour 7 iron as your usual speed. Brought it down to around 80, give or take, a couple miles an hour here with these clubs. So, um, and I think the first thing that I notice here, Thomas, uh, well, First of all, before we get into the numbers, just give me if there's any major differences in look and feel that you noticed. I know there was a couple times you looked down at it. Obviously, you're used to like a player's iron, like yep. a smaller compact head. So these don't look anything like the irons you play, but is there anything that you notice, look, feel, maybe sound that, that jumped out at you while hitting? Yeah, I mean, I could definitely notice a little bit of difference in the in the loft. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, we're talking half a degree per club. I could right. gradually see from, for example, the, the Callaway all the yeah. way up to the, the tight list. Mm -hmm. You could see that there was just you know a little bit more loft on the Titleist versus the, versus the Callaway, um, but let's talk about looks because I mean these the game improvement irons right they're a little yep. larger they're to inspire confidence. Uh, if I'm looking down at the at the Callaway, it has the largest top line. Yeah. Uh, so the the Rogue ST has the largest top line. Um, it's a you know pretty big profile. Yeah. Um, nice and kind of forgiving. Um, the Stealth and the the T300 they look kind of look pretty similar when looking down at them. A little bit smaller than the than the, the Rogue ST, um, but they're you know still fairly for, yeah. forgiving irons. They still give off the yeah. the uh, kind of high MOI look. Yeah, and then like so with the JPX 923 hot metal, it definitely isn't any larger. It's is it smaller. It's than probably the other a little smaller. Okay. Um, it's kind of like yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a blend of of the, the T300 and the and the Stealth. Okay. I'd say yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so good to know on that, and I know I think we I think we tested these early on. I think we also did talk about like how Rogue ST Max does have a pretty big profile for an iron. Yep. And so that still stays kind of true with this test here. Numbers wise, now a few things jump out at me. First, I wanted to get your thoughts on spin, particularly the stealth. So the stealth was the you know number two in loft, right? In terms of it has I think 28 degrees. So that's number two. Uh, in terms of, well, number three overall, and, and uh, there's, well, the, the lowest was Rogue ST Max, then it was Stealth. Yep. Um, also the slowest club speed, but it ended up having the most amount of spin on average in this test out of the four clubs, which isn't really the, the tailor-made iron profile. Uh, when you think about P770, P790, those are low spinners yep. that chase out there. Stealth here does kind of the opposite. In this test. Well, what kind of numbers in spin were we talking about? So about 54, 46 on average with yep. the stealth. Um, Which is, I mean, that's you know, it's fairly good for you know, when you're swinging 80 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, and you have a club that's got 28 degrees of loft on it for, for right. seven irons. So, and, your, and your smash factor was 1.49, so you're hitting that club pretty darn good. Yep. Carrying the ball over 170, and then your total was 181.9 with that club. So yeah, it's it's stopping what 10, 12 yeah. yards. Yeah. Stopping within good. 10 yards, and you mean you're hitting all of these over 75 feet in the air. Um, so what is the landing angle? Are we talking angle, like landing be angle? Because this is a slower, slower speed, so I'm not going to hit it as high as I normally would. Yeah. So the landing angle on the Stealth is 41.2 degrees. Okay. So I know you're looking right around. Is it 40 to 45? Is kind of what you're looking for? Yeah, with, with this speed, yes. Okay. With yeah. this speed, so yeah, this speed. 41.2 there with the Stealth. So it falls into that window. You know, you hit the ball really well. Like I said, your ball speed is 118.6, which is not probably that far off from what you're usually used to with a <laughs> your own actual seven iron. Um, right. Now, granted, that's more loft than a different club, but. Yep. So the stealth was the most uh, spin. The okay. launch angle there was 14.3, which actually was the lowest just barely. Okay. I would expect the launch angle profile and the dynamic loft to kind of follow suit with the, the right. stated loft on the golf club. For right. Sure. Um, but it's interesting to note that stealth spins just a little bit more yeah. than other game from Ryan. So on the other end of the spectrum, then Rogue ST Max was the lowest spinning. Falls right about in the middle in terms of how fast you swung at 80.4, but it was 45.87, so comfortably lower than stealth. You know, we're talking about. 900 rpm average that's what i would purely expect because it's got 27 and a half degrees yeah. of loft on the seven iron. yeah much lowest, lower yeah. loft um a pretty low loft in terms of the spectrum of irons out there right yeah. so what um, does that do to my landing angle yeah your landing angle dropped down below 40 to 39 degrees yep. um, so this would be a great iron for those golfers that hit the ball too high with too much spin right right, right. and there so, are a lot of players out there like that they yep. come in really steep maybe that face opens up a little bit sometimes they get that kind of high banana almost the Rogue ST Max can really help golfers with that for sure. Correct. Um, overall distance wise, it was 171.7 carry, 186 total. So you had that 15 kind of yards there of yep. run out. So it rolled will. out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, T300 was the next club that you hit. 81 miles an hour was your speed there. So, I mean, we're talking about fractionally different here <laughs> right. on, each, on each club. Uh, your well, the one thing I noticed with T300 and with the JPX 923 mm -hmm. hot metal is when I was hitting the shots, it looked like it was flying a little higher out there. Yeah. I definitely noticed it right away going from the, the yep. Callaway to the T300, that extra degree and a half left, extra yes. loss really did change the profile. So I'm interested to see the height yep. and then Your the steepest landing, landing angle. angles both were T300 and the 923 hot metal. Uh, they both got over 42 degrees and your height on both those was also both over 80. Also worth noting there was both of the draws showed up with those two irons. Your average curve was 11 and 12 feet left with those. It was actually to the right with the other two clubs. Okay. So which this is interesting there, considering that, it was drawing but also flying higher. Yeah, it was drawing which usually knocks spin off yep. most of the time, but you still had enough height to get it up there and see the flight that you like. Um, T300 was 5394 spin, 923 JPX 5344, so very similar spin profiles there. Launch angle though was higher just because T300 higher loft. 15.5 uh, degrees on that so in total for distance the jpx 923 probably because of the loft did have five more yards of carry and five more yards of total yeah so 177.5 carry 188.6 for the jpx 923 172 and 183 for the t300 so which iron out of the four gave us the highest carry distance the uh, jpx 923 it was hot metal. even mm -hmm. with a uh, little bit more loft than mm -hmm. the other two yep very nice that's interesting because when I play normal golf, my carry distance with my seven iron is 178. <laughs> yeah, and with this test, you were swinging eight to 10 miles an hour slower yep. than you usually do. So that means there's some distance and some juice really packed into these irons, specifically that 923, the hot metal there. And lastly, we talked about all the numbers, but I'm bringing up this dispersion. I'm blasting it on the full screen. You hit the Titleist, and it could have been a deal with you know, warming up and getting more comfortable with swinging at a certain speed. But the T300 and the JPX 923 hot metal, the dispersion circles are pretty incredible. You had some really straight shots. You're, you're ta we're talking maybe five yards one way or the other maximum with each club off center. Okay. So. Well, that's that's going to be player dependent. So it's not yeah. so much just because this dispersion is best that this club's best. Yeah. It's going to be the user error, right? Yeah. And there's um, a lot of that too. That's comfortability with the club, how it looks, you yeah. know, things like that, how it feels. But, um, the I, I do think it's noteworthy that your draw came back and was consistent with each of those clubs and it, ne it wasn't necessarily with the stealth or the rogue st max um, and it could be profile of the club maybe a little slimmer able yeah. to draw it more uh, i don't know exactly how much of that is is due to that but uh people can look at that dispersion map and see how tight it was with the jpx 923 hot metal and the t300 very good well this is this is some pretty good data I think the most important thing to take away is kind of the numbers, is yeah. what you're going to expect out of certain clubs. A certain club might spin more, it might have faster ball speed, yep. it might have a better landing angle or height. And that's stuff that we're always looking at when we are fitting yep. and fitting these different clubs. Because every club is different and people do swing differently, so that's right. why it's important to try out these different ones. If you're hitting it too high, Callaway would be a great option. Mm -hmm. If you're hitting it too low, you know, you've got the Mizuno and the Titus, which would be a great option. Yep, exactly. These these, they're, they're all game improvement irons, but they do offer different benefits uh, depending on the player that you are, and it might fit you better than maybe another one of these irons. So golfers, that's why it's important to get fit at Second Swing. You can go into one of our store locations and talk to directly one-on-one -on -one with one of our master fitters like Thomas, or you can schedule a fitting online on secondswing.com. Speak to one of our fitters over the phone or through a video chat, and we'll get you set up with the irons that are right for your game. Thomas, thanks for joining, hitting all the shots today, given the data on these four irons. I think they're going to continue to be awesome in the fitting bays here at Second Swing. Not a problem.